going to read a poem that was submitted uh, by Nolene Beckett, Nolene Beckett Crow. Many of you will know her from the present, yeah. but she couldn't be with us today. So I'm going to ask Jerry to read it. Thank you. Reverberation. Tranquility. Feathered friends, pleasurable lyrical lids, trees humming, buzzing, flitting towards nectar, leafy perennials, enchanted swishes, fierce cactus companions purring the owls, humans' guffaws or chortles, children's enjoyable babbles. Hullabaloo. Canis familiaris barks, yelps, growls. Equine squinny. Bovine bellows are lowing. Ice cream vans, distorted wails, buying clamorous musical discord. Motorized vehicles, pandemonium. Screeching, squeaking gates. Emergency aiders pierced to distressed urgency. Hoovering helicopters, choppy shrieks. Small gliders, circular commotion. Cacophonies. Trains, rumbles, quarries blasting. Picture patter knocks on glass. Cats and dogs dance in driveways. Telephone irritations or re echoes. Booming thunderclaps. Jarring racket of electrical garden tools. Exasperating heat blowers of 80 decibels. Shimei. Thanks, sir. That was from Noreen Beckham. So we're going to take. They said there was no talent on the top rock. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. There's a little bit. We're going, we're going to take a little break now. We might do a little bit again. We'll take a break. We'll just pass around the trays.